What's up, everybody? This is John coming at you again. We are here, part three of our electric motion escape breakdown and uh, restoration uh, video. So, like I said, we're gonna give you uh, some, I guess, some reviews on what uh, you know, some of the aftermarket parts and the wear and tear that we've done to these bikes. So, check it out. All right, guys, so like I said, we're gonna get into some, or like a partial review of some of the accessories that we put on. And one of the accessories that we put on that I really like on this bike, and pretty much all trials bikes, I have this on my TRS, my TRS trials bike here as well, is these fork protectors. And the reason why I like these is because they're full guard or well, full length protectors, I guess. I didn't understand how that could work because as you can see, these are standard trials forks and they're not inverted like Enduro ones. So the bottom is the shaft uh, for our tech fork and the top part is where our chrome um, seal would be. So these actually just extend the length up and they actually flare out a bit. So that when the shock moves up, it actually goes past the triple clamp, clears it. So it's perfect. And as you can see, this thing has, let me get a light here. This thing has seen its share of scratches. So see that scratch right there. There's another scratch up there. I mean, these are all scratches that could have been uh, on my ceiling area for my, my shock. And uh, that would have been uh, pretty bad for my seals. Uh, probably would have to uh, plate it or smooth it down somehow. Just to take off the high spots because it is, I mean, it is pretty rough. You know, um, that could have definitely done some damage to the uh, the shock itself. So, uh, good investment. They're about uh, I think sixty bucks. Uh, they're not carbon. They look like carbon, but they're just uh, high density, uh, high grade plastic, which is uh, really light and uh, fairly inexpensive. Okay, so what we're going to do is we also taking a look at what we added on the RSC IX09W 21 inch front tire. Uh, this is a pretty narrow tire, like I mentioned before. This is only 80 by 100, 21. So, uh, yeah, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller tire. Does really good. Um, it does really good on the roots, does bite a lot of the wet stuff. It's a trials compound, so it's very, very gummy, very, very soft. But as a front tire, uh, it's peeling a little bit, but not too bad. I mean, the general knobs are still intact. Compared to the back tire, this tire looks brand new. So I think we'll keep this on and uh, we'll use this in future bikes. Uh, I think it works really, really well. I mean, some of the trials guys uh, give me crap because, you know, not a trials tire, you know, you have a trials bike. But... You know what, to each his own. So far, this guy's working good. I like it. Will I go back to a trials tire? Maybe, we'll see. Okay. Also, we did put our YZ85 fender. <laughs> we just made some, uh, I just made some real simple brackets. Basically just took some uh, threaded rod, heated it up, bent it to conform to the triple clamp, put some, uh, uh, I want to say tape, but I put some rubber padding here just so it wouldn't ruin the triple clamp um, Scratch it up scuff it, you know, because it is billet aluminum So I didn't want to mess that up Especially if someone or the next guy didn't want want it they could just take it off and then uh, just bolted it on and it's actually very 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 sturdy. Um, pretty good. I Will say for this, this is the bracket that holds the suspension together. I've been advised to keep this on, which uh, I think is good. But I will say in the mud, in the Hawaii mud, this will pack up. So before I had spacers here, which raised it up a bit. 
And I think that would be good uh, for clearance. This past weekend, it was very muddy up at our local MX track. And this thing got caked with mud so much with uh, mud and, uh, I want to say, like pine needles that the tire locked up. And I didn't know it at the time, but it was just pushing. Uh, it was so slick that the tire was locked up, but it was still pushing along. It was just skidding along the ground. So that wasn't good. Um, it's not good for any bike. So just uh, keep track of that. So we're going to take off the master cylinder. We're going to take off the, uh, the caliper for the brake. We're going to take off the guard here, take the wheel off. And then we'll also go up here, take the suspension off. And all we'll have left is the handlebars to the headset. We'll check that if there's any play um, or if the bearings are good. I think we're good with that though, but we'll check it anyway. And then we'll have the frame to clean up. All right. All right, so we finally got the front end off. We got the forks off. We got the front wheel off over there. Uh, these forks are steel tech forks, so they work great. Um, and uh, they're a little bit heavier than what's on the uh, EPR Race and the Escape R, which are aluminum tech forks, but they work just fine. So we're gonna leave the frame as is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy up, make it all nice. This white, ugh, this white might be a pain in the butt to get clean but we'll do it anyway. So thanks for watching again, guys, real quick video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comments below. If you have any uh, longer questions or anything you wanna ask me personally, uh, you can contact us at kauilamotors at gmail.com. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook under the same tag. And uh, just keep the, keep the comments coming, man. If you guys like what we're doing, please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, stay tuned because we're going to be cleaning these things. Uh, check out our IG post. We're going to be cleaning them, posting them up there, and then we're going to put it all back together, all back together, and then we're going to give it off to the next lucky person to enjoy this bike for themselves. So until next time, guys, please ride safe and always ride aloha.